Here we have the Budera Lockomatic 2107 controller, and I've opened up the top just to show you what's on going on inside. And um, um, the high voltage block. This is where all your high voltage connections will go. And then over here we have our low voltage connections. So um, all, um, our burner. This is an oil fired um, 215. Um, the G215 with the yellow burner and um, this computer controls the the burner um, it receives the outside air temperature and uh, it also controls the domestic hot water and for the domestic hot water we're using a superstore and this uh, this is the actual sensor for it so instead of instead of having a mechanical high limit we we have the sensor with a thermistor and actually all these all these sensors are thermistors so we have basically three thermistors one on the heater we have one inside the well of the boiler which monitors the boiler temperature and then we have an additional one outside and what this computer does is it uses a reset schedule to uh, modulate the boiler water temperature based on demand so the colder it is outside the hotter the water temperature the boiler uh, needs to create and uh, the uh, and also uh, one of the functionalities of this is that it has a warm weather shutdown feature which means uh, it, if it gets hot enough outside it basically shuts the heat off and even though you can turn even though you turn up a thermostat you won't get any heat out of it uh, and all these parameters are adjustable. Even the heat curve uh, for the for the reset schedule, that's all adjustable. And uh, let's see, what else? All my indirect fires are, um, I have a mixing valve to temper the water coming out. So we keep 140 in the tank and 120 coming out. And uh, that's pretty much it. Now this boiler I put in about six years ago and but however the indirect fire is in addition to this boiler that's new. So we have a six-year-old boiler and this <clears throat> uh, logomatic controller is also new. Uh, so the owner finally upgraded and he's gonna notice a significant decrease in his fuel bill um, as this uh, takes control of, of the energy consumption and really minimizes it. And what's good about this feature is that this controller is that it has also a, uh, a manual feature. Um, right now it's in automatic, uh, but however, if something in the controller should fail electrically or if there was a lightning strike or whatever, it can then go to this um, mechanical backup system, which basically would be operated as a regular high limit that you have on every other um, heating system. Now this controller, uh, this is a multi-zone system. So six years ago when I put this in, I set it up for priority zoning with the with the um, Takeo 504 multi-zone controller. And um, one of these zones is actually two of these zones is not going to be needed. The um, uh, and the way this gets powered is it actually gets its power from the ZC terminal um, to, to actually come on. So this is your heating control. This actually pulls the relay in, which enables the circulators to run. So on a warm weather shutdown situation, there will be no voltage to this. <clears throat> Therefore, none of these relays will energize. And uh, so again, all, all, those are, all those parameters are measured with thermistors and what a thermistor is is it changes electrical voltage based on different temperatures so uh, and what this does through the logic is it actually measures the resistance of each of those parameters uh, each of those sensors and, and when it does that it, it knows the temperature it is based on the resistance based on the electrical resistance and that's how thermistors work and uh, that's it and uh, hope you enjoy my videos. Thank you.